ऑफ ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑल टू नो द हाई ब्लड प्रेशर हाई ब्लड प्रेशर इज वन ऑफ द डिजॉर्डर ओके बट वी नीड टू नो व्हाट इज द नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो दैट्स व्हाई बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट अस सी व्हाट इज ब्लड प्रेशर वेयर इट रिप्रेजेंट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हेन वी आर सेइंग दैट वेंट्रिकुलर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन when the ventricles are in uh, that contract ventricular systole during the ventricular systole process we know that from the left ventricle the blood flow occurs through a blood vessel what is that left systemic left systemic aorta aorta okay so here also that of people will mistake in over blood pressure meaning not the speed of the blood we are talking we are talking about the blood which is during contraction of the ventricle the blood which is putting pressure on the walls of the left systemic aorta that means here whatever the pressure it is putting on the walls that we call blood pressure means during ventricular systole that uh, blood will come with a great speed okay we accept that what is pressure pressure means not the speed the pressure which is putting on the walls of the blood vessel that what you can say blood pressure that we can represent the blood pressure as systolic pressure so very important here which systole atrial systole or ventricular systole atrial or ventricular Ventricular. Yeah. ventricular that we have to remember what systole means ventricular systole okay systolic pressure by diastolic pressure that means during the contraction of ventricle the pressure created in the walls of the blood vessel is 120 mm of hg we call it as systolic pressure okay during the relaxation the blood pressure which is created that means which is there in the blood vessels in the walls we say 80 that is diastolic pressure which diastole again same ventricular diastole ventricular diastole yeah so that was not mentioned in the principle but you people need to understand that was a ventricular systole and that was a ventricular diastole okay so this is blood pressure people generally ask do you have blood pressure do you have blood pressure i am asking you do you have yes, blood sir. pressure yes sir yeah sir. do you have bp Yes, sir. Do you have BP? Everyone have BP. No doubt about that. Yes, so, but highly. Yeah, what they should ask exactly? Normal. Huh? What they, the question? General question will come out. Do you have BP? Yes, sir. Yeah, everyone have BP. Do you have high BP? That we have. They have to ask actually. No. Yes. Uh, <laughs> question should be changed. A BPC student should change the question because we are future medicos. We should change. We should not ask like that. Do you have BP? no everyone have bp so do you have high blood pressure this is a question no. we should ask do you have high bp or more technical if you want to ask do you have hypertension we can ask that means here high blood pressure or hypertension this was the regular mistake which people do do you have bp they ask okay so uh let's talk about high bp high blood pressure we already said the normal thing it's okay then uh 120 mm of hg millimeters of mercury pressure the systolic or pumping pressure we can say 80 mm is a diastolic pressure resting pressure that means here let me write here this is pumping pressure which i shown in the diagram and this is resting pressure that means when ventricles in diastole okay so uh high blood pressure what is high blood pressure in the case if it is 140 in a person instead of 120 140 actually we are talking oh. about uh, ncrt nowadays uh, people are saying that uh, 150 is the hypertension not 140 okay that uh, 140 by 90 or we can uh, normal language we can say 140 over 90 the people say 140 over 90 or 140 by 90 is said to be high blood pressure but generally when you run or uh, uh, when you do exercise definitely it will go up 120 to 130 140 150 even it can go but when we take rest again it will come to the normal so that you can't say hypertension sir i am running when i took the blood pressure i got 140 150 
So do I have high BP? No, you don't have high BP. Hypertension is not there. Continuously, after all doing, a person is in the rest. Normal condition, resting status even, his blood pressure is recorded 140. We can say definitely he is having high BP. What is the effect of high BP? What makes the, the difference here? Normal condition to the hypertension condition. We can say here, high blood pressure leads to many heart diseases. Definitely that is going to be burden on the heart. Heart diseases, various kinds of heart diseases we can expect here. And uh, this pressure may affect the vital organs like uh, uh, brain and uh, kidney. These particular organs are going to be affected over. So vital organs like brain, kidney, not only we are talking about brain, kidney, every particular organ getting affected over. This we can say high BP. Okay. What is low BP? What is low blood pressure? Low blood pressure is a condition we can say normal condition. That means here normal we said 120. If it is 90 by 70, general I am talking about, 90 by 70, if a person is having, definitely you can consider it as a low blood pressure. It is said to be low blood pressure. Yes, any doubts about the blood pressure? Sir, systolic means contraction, sir. Yeah, systolic means contraction. Systole means then, contraction, diastole con means relaxation. Means during contraction, with great pressure, blood will go, isn't it or not? With great speed, we can see. So that particular, that's what I said, pumping pressure. We said it as systolic pressure, pumping pressure or contraction pressure. Okay. Diastole means relaxation, we can see. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Chal. Next, the second yes, one. Second one. Coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease. First of all, you people need to say what is this coronary artery? It's supplied to heart. Very. Very. Yes, yes. Simply, yeah, simply you can say here we supply blood to the heart. The artery, we supply blood to the heart. Blood that means heart. it's not a personal problem. Isn't it or not? Blood, that yes. coronary artery, that means heart supplying blood to all over the body. Coronary artery supplies blood to heart. Whenever any problem occurs in the coronary artery, we can't say that is a personal problem of heart. If anything happened in the kidney, kidney failure, that is a personal problem, kidney problem, we say. Lung problem, we say. Brain problem, we say. But heart problem is not a personal problem. That means I'm talking in the context of internal organ. Heart, if it is stopped over, everyone will stop. Isn't it or not? So, uh, yes, that sir. damage or anything problem in the heart is not a heart's problem. That is the problem of every vital organ, every internal organ. Okay, coronary artery supplies blood to the heart. This is the primary information which we already know. So, then what is coronary artery disease? Coronary artery disease, which is even called atherosclerotic heart disease, we say it as. It is a question in the need, so just please do remember. The coronary artery disease is also called, in other words, atherosclerosis, where it affects. It affects the blood vessel, which is going to supply blood to the walls of the heart. Okay, so that's why we can say it has atherosclerotic heart disease, which affects the blood vessel. Which blood vessel? Coronary artery affects the vessel. Generalized, we can say, but particularly when you call which part? Coronary artery. So what happens? Anything can be happened over. It may be a deposition of calcium. Uh, let me show you here. In the walls of the artery, if anything happened like the calcium depositions, if you see here, it is imagine there is a calcium deposition. Inner side of the vessel, if uh, there is a calcium deposition, what happened? The way became narrow, isn't it? That yes, we can say yes, that sir. one of them. Then uh, uh, this is, you know, already that there may be a fat uh, or cholesterol deposition. That I'm showing everything in one blood vessel. Okay. There may be a cholesterol deposition. Coronary artery disease. Okay. So the fat depositions are cholesterol deposition. So hot uh, that uh, problem we say, isn't it? Sometimes. The blood vessel muscles may get damaged over, damage to the muscle, blood vessels of the muscle itself. That means here the damage comes over. 
that uh, they become swelling, inflammation. So that may be the reason. Various other reasons are there. Very few we are discussing here. That fibrous tissue, dead tissue, you can say here. Accumulation of the dead tissue. Fibrous meaning, always you remember, the dead tissue. If tissue dies there and uh, that may lead to a problem here. So whatever it may be, passage became narrow, isn't it? So that means blood supply is not uh, adequate towards the particular heart. So lumen of artery became narrow. Lumen of coronary artery. Lumen of coronary artery became narrower. So we are not at all discussing what is the consequences. That just we are saying here, what is the problem? Atherosclerotic heart disease, atherosclerosis, or coronary artery disease is going to be creating so many problems. Okay, among these particular problems, okay, for example, if a person is having this kind of narrowing in the heartbeat, narrowing in the blood vessel, narrowing, as already I said to you, uh, that narrowing means there is a blood vessel. And uh, because of the repositions of the cholesterol or because of the depositions of calcium or because of the dead tissue accumulated over in the artery or death of the tissues, fibrosis in the artery, whatever it may be, whatever it may be, now what happened, it became narrower. Okay, supply. So what is the immediate symptom which person will get? Not complete supply stop. That it is happened here, little amount of blood only going to the heart. What is the symptom in the person? Coronary artery disease, initially, we can say, uh, uh, appearance in the form of acute chest pain. Acute chest pain. Here, a YPC student should know the difference between the acute and chronic. Sure. Acute means short period of time, immediate short for period. a period of time. Okay. Long duration. Yeah, prolonged, we can say. We already said in the oh. respiratory disorders, but I'm saying here also. Yes, so a little pain will come. That means signals coming from the heart. I am getting less blood supply. Something may happen, traffic jam. So that we can say that we, it can, angina can occur in the men and women. There is no difference here that it can be happened in the both men and women. In general, we are talking about that at any age, it can be happened over any age. That these are the things you have to remember. Angina pectoris, just a warning signal. Let me write here. It's a warning signal for the coming, for the future, heart attack problems. It is going to be a warning signal, we can say. Okay, someone started. So, the mostly more common, generally we say any age, but more common in middle-aged, more common in middle-aged and elderly people. It is going to be more common in the people that uh, who enters in the middle age or uh, the old people, we can say elderly people, angina pectoris. Okay, so what you say this as a warning signal for the future heart attacks. Okay. So that is uh, the conditions uh, uh, problem. What's the problem here? It affects the blood flow. We can see here. It affects the blood flow. Acute chest pain, characteristic features to be remembered. Acute chest pain. Okay, it's a warning signal for the future heart problems. And uh, it affects the blood flow blood, uh, due to coronary artery disease. Can, can I call here? Due to, it is due to coronary artery disease. Isn't it or not? Yes, sir, so first sir. of all, yes, we said what makes the traffic jam. Next, after that, we are saying that some result, angina pectoris. That means here, next level problem we have to discuss that if, sir, if what happens, if it all continuously happens. So that we have to discuss in the form of heart failure. Heart failure. And yeah. do remember, do remember by uh, learning these particular heart disorders, yeah. No person is going to become cardiologist after this class. Just uh, all these are the basic issues only, which we are talking okay. about. That uh, don't feel so, I became cardiologist. Body fluid circulation is over. Cardiologist, primary information only, okay. as we are going to rectify this information. And uh, my new differences that all you are going to learn in the coming days in MBBS. Okay. So what is heart failure? Heart failure means, heart failure means heart failure. That means what is actual problem? 
state of the heart state of heart when it is not pumping blood effectively state of heart when it is not pumping blood effectively we can say heart is failed in a case in any case if the heart is not able to pump the blood effectively effectively what it mean that means whatever we require not Happy. enough to meet the our needs of the body what our our needs adequate oxygen adequate nutrients are going through blood only so that means the heart failure means state of heart when it is not pumping blood effectively enough to meet the needs of the body we can say heart failure okay so then sometimes we can say it as congestive heart failure congestive heart failure so what is congestive heart, heart failure. failure what is congestive heart failure congestive heart failure means that is due to the congestion of lungs okay congestive heart failure is due to congestion of lungs okay then uh, this is one of the main symptom we are not going to say this is the only reason but we need the one of the main symptom of the disease that means here when lungs are failed when lungs are uh, a not able to receive the oxygen so that what it makes over that oxygen effect definitely uh, fall down on the heart isn't it or not so uh, we can say this is the main reason for the main symptom of uh, congestive heart failure is congestion of lungs as it is as it is we get this in examination that is very important here that means whatever the questions which are coming here that even a cardiologist cannot answer but our students will answer because we follow ncert that means what i am talking about so more information is going to be very dangerous here as i have seen so many students sir i read that book i read this book that not only congestion of lungs there are so many other reasons they are also saying the same there are there are so many reason main symptom is congestion of lungs so congestive heart failure may come uh, due to uh, atherosclerosis also here also congestive heart failure yeah definitely i accept whatever you say but what is given in ncert according to them congestive heart failure means the main symptom is the uh, congestion of lungs that's all. they blame this due to the congestion of lungs that uh, congestive heart failure will come over okay next what they are saying next cardiac arrest there are three different issues here which mostly confuse the students always okay cardiac arrest what is cardiac arrest to see what is cardiac arrest first of all let me clear that let me clear that heart failure is not same as cardiac arrest heart failure is different from heart failure is different from cardiac arrest this is a very important statement from the ncert textbook people to remember sir then what is cardiac arrest yeah we have a definition we have to learn that also what is cardiac arrest cardiac arrest means heart stops beating heart stops beating we can say cardiac arrest okay so let me complete that after that we'll see the differences here actually my new differences are there no much bigger differences are there my new differences we have one more we have one more to say here heart attack heart attack what is heart attack seems to be all are similar isn't it then here also we'll provide the same statement when more blood is supplied uh, here also heart failure heart failure is different from i am writing heart statement failure. again heart failure is different from that means uh, that uh, from heart attack again i am writing here heart failure is different from heart attack so then what is heart attack what is heart attack according to you what is heart attack sir when heart muscle when let me type here here the writing is going to be a little difficult uh, that with your permission yeah when heart 
is suddenly damaged when the heart is suddenly damaged by an inadequate supply at least uh, it is related to our previous land issue means atherosclerotic heart disease that what do you say coronary artery disease so when heart is suddenly damaged by inadequate supply of blood Low, low, low. Yeah, yeah, that's what you hear. You see here, this is the reason. Maybe calcium deposition, or maybe cholesterol, maybe cholesterol, or maybe fibrous tissue. So, coronary artery disease Im immediately, what kind of problem it will come? We have a small chest pain, isn't it? Or not? See the relation. So, sir, small depositions are there, blood is going, but adequate is not going. So, how we feel? We feel. A chest warning pain. signal, chest pain will come. Okay, if it all continued over, person started taking continuously cholesterol, he's taking and neglected this angina pectoris. What can be happened? You see here, what can be happened? Heart failure. Heart attack. Heart attack. When the heart is suddenly damaged by inadequate supply of blood. <laughs> that what do you say it as? Heart attack. Okay. Then what is cardiac arrest? When heart stops beating, anything can happen over heart stops beating that uh, a sudden shock or jolt or an accident case, trauma we use it to say here. That we say cardiac arrest. Okay. So cardiac arrest means 72 times beating, suddenly it came to zero. Something might be happened over, he is watching horror movie. So that is cardiac arrest. Okay. What is heart failure? This is done by lungs itself. Means if a person breath is stopped suddenly, what happens? Heart also squeeze over. Okay. So these two conditions, these two conditions are created conditions I'm talking about. So imagine like a person is watching horror movie, suddenly his heart stops beating. Can you call heart attack? Yeah, people generally say heart attack. What do you say it as actually now? Yes, sir. Cardiac arrest. Yes, cardiac arrest. Yeah. Cardiac. 500 uh, people are watching the horror movie. End of the horror movie, 499 came out. One is simply sitting in the chair, not coming up. What do you say? Cardiac. Yeah, cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest happened. Suggest them not to see again in next uh, when he born again. Okay, then congestive heart failure. What is congestive heart failure? Uh, something is happened. Plans. Something is happened. He is uh, with uh, that you don't know swimming, he dropped in the water. Are you pressing him in the with the pillow? Stopping uh, air flow inside. Breath can be breathe if it is stopped over. What happened? Stop yeah, Stop congestion of lungs followed by heart failure. So what we are saying here, uh, when a person started taking oily food continuously, that order you should know. Order you should know. Order that no uh, the dietary habits are uh, imperfect, not doing exercise, eating uh, carbohydrate containing food and cholesterol containing food. That whole the life he started doing like so. What is the first problem will come? What is the first problem will come? Coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease. Yeah, blood vessels become narrow. So, is there any symptoms will come out? Yes. What will come? Angina pectoris. So, this is the first warning. Warning signal will, uh, that said we have. We are actually. Then, warning signal leads to what among these three? Yeah, heart attack, heart attack. Just try to know the difference here. Just try to know the difference. So I should not write here, but if for easy understanding, I am writing here. Horror movie watching leads to what? Sir, I can't, I don't get. Yeah, yeah that means pillow. Pillow or uh, swimming? Uh, remember it as pillow, pillow example. Actually, we did a Pillow example in transport of gases, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. So with pillow, uh, I'm not uh, writing clearly here. People, when uh, some other people will see, they'll get fear. And uh, at the time when I'm using pillow in the transport of gas also, I said over that all these things not to perform. Isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Sure. That yes, means sir. you understand, okay, that no practicals, only theory. Congestive heart failure. So that means you dumped a person in the water, what happened when you ask? You have to say congestive heart failure. 
So to understand congestive heart failure, if you do like that, whatever the consequences, your lecturer is not responsible. That we came here to save the people, not to understand these practical problems practically. Sure, any doubts here? In these three, actually problem is in these three only, congestive heart failure, cardiac arrest, and heart attack. And lines to be remembered over. When heart stops beating, they'll ask directly like that. When heart stops beating, what's the question? Answer. You'll get all the options. When heart stops beating, what it is called? Number one, congestive heart failure, cardiac arrest, heart attack, likewise. Yes, what is your answer? Yes, cardiac arrest. Okay, then then when heart is suddenly damaged by inadequate supply of blood, what is the answer? Heart attack. Okay. So then what is one more? Congestion of lungs. Main symptom of the congestive heart failure is congestion of lungs. We'll get question like this. We have a small area, but most times asked questions are these. Warning signal, acute chest pain that more common in middle age and elderly, you have to remember for angina pectoris. Due to the calcium depositions or due to the cholesterol deposition that due to the formation of dead tissue, fibrous tissue, the arteries become, coronary artery become narrower, we call it as coronary artery disease. Okay. And uh, finally, discuss about the high blood pressure, hypertension, high blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is 120 by 80. Then it is uh, the high blood pressure. If that more than 140, we'll say high blood pressure. This is all about the disorders of circulatory system.